ahead of tomorrow's funeral mass at Washington's Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception, Justice Anthony Scalia's body has lain in repose in the majestic Great Hall of the United States Supreme Court on the same catafalque that once held the coffin of President Abraham Lincoln. Thousands of dignitaries and citizens paid respects to a man with an outsized presence on the court and on American jurisprudence, one who knew Scalia is former State Supreme Court Justice Peter Vernero. Thank you for being with us. Justice Scalia was known for harsh, scathing opinions and, and harsh questioning in the court. Was he as irascible, as irascible as he seemed? When you met him, he was a very nice person. He was humorous, he was funny, he was charming. He immediately put you at ease, and he was very down to earth. Uh, I've met him on, over a number of occasions at social events at the Supreme Court, and when you were speaking to him, you would not know you were speaking to a brilliant Supreme Court jurist. He when was, did you first meet him? Uh, it was several years ago uh, when I was uh, on the court, and uh, on, actually when I was Attorney General. Uh, because we would often have meetings, the attorneys general would have meetings at the Supreme Court and he would attend receptions. How did the way he shaped legal arguments by, by having a foundation in originalism, how did that shape American law? Well, that's one of his big legacies, and that is the entire approach to judicial decision making. He subscribed to the so-called originalist approach, which means that when you're reviewing the Constitution, you give the words the same meaning they had when the document was ratified or adopted. Now, 30 years ago, when he entered the court, there were not a lot of folks who talked about originalism and certainly not a, not a lot of any Supreme Court justices. So he changed that whole mindset. But even those who disagreed with some of his decisions, and you were one, um, still had a lot of respect for him. How do you balance those two things? Well, you have to look at what makes a uh, responsible, respected judge. His intelligence, his work ethic, he cared deeply for the institution of the Supreme Court. Uh, you don't have to always agree with a judge to have respect for that judge and really respect for the brilliant mind that he had. He spent a good deal of time training young lawyers, right? He did. He spent a lot of time lecturing to law students, and he was a professor for many years himself, a law school professor. So he cared deeply about the teaching of law, and he cared very much about the future of law under, uh, under law students. What's the future of law without him? How's the court going There's to change? There's a big void right now. I, I'll just give you my own personal example. I became a member of the bar in 1984. That's when I graduated law school. Two years later, he was on the Supreme Court. So for almost the entire tenure of my own legal career as a lawyer and then as an attorney general as, and as a member of the Supreme Court in New Jersey, there was Antonin Scalia. He was the sort of anchor of that branch of the court that followed his approach. So it's a very big loss. And while he had a lot of uh, seminal arguments, he didn't have a lot of seminal cases where he wrote the final opinion. One was the Second Amendment case where yes. individual, he interpreted it as individuals having a right to carry a gun. Yes, that was a very big case, the Second Amendment uh, case. There was also a very big case that doesn't get a lot of attention, but I'm very familiar with, and that is in the area of random high school drug testing. The United States Supreme Court issued, at the time, a landmark decision that allowed under federal law for athletes in high school to be randomly drug tested. And in New Jersey, when I was on the New Jersey Supreme Court, we had that same issue under the state constitution. And I wrote the court's decision. It was a 4-3 decision. It was a close decision. But the majority opinion, my opinion, followed a lot of what Justice Scalia had said in his case. All right, thank you very much for being with us, Peter Vernier. Thank you.